Okay. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Review the Labs product training webinar. My name is Nancy Reamer, and I'm the Director of Education and Training at Review the Labs. Today, we're going to look, take a look at um, all of the collections available at Reviva and do a full review of all our product line. Um, so please know that this webinar on product training is hosted monthly, where we sometimes look at individual uh, collections as well as the whole collection. But each month, we are hosting an educational uh, training on our products for you uh, or your or your clients. Um, so please make sure to check our website uh, for under About Us and events for future dates and topics. And as this product training is also being recorded, so you can always refer back to it under our blog post at the ReviveTheLabs.com website as well. Okay, and right now you are all muted, but um, you can ask questions at the end via the chat feature on this program, and I'll take all questions at that time. So without further ado, I am going to... Um, Get started. Okay. So Reviva Labs. Reviva Labs was established in 1973. So we are known as a legacy brand. We are have 45 plus years now of experience. And an interesting uh, piece of information is that our founder, Stephen Strasser, was the first licensed esthetician in the United States. So Stephen really combined his training as an esthetician with his interest in natural ingredients and really created a new approach to skin care 45 years ago. Um, and what that individual approach is, is an individual line of products for individual skin care needs. And we have been following that esthetician-based uh, ingredient, special needs sort of uh, focus for the last 45 years um, in whenever we develop a new product. And we have a lot of pioneering firsts, such as the non, first non-chemical exfoliation product called um, Light Skin Peel, which we still have today. And we also pioneered the use of trace, uh, topical trace minerals um, as a catalyst for better absorption. And we see that in one of our, uh, also a couple of our, um, our serums that were on the, on the uh, shelf today. So uh, we are continuing to, to tinker with ingredients, to better our current formulas, and look for new ingredients and new uh, products to launch um, to continue for the next 45 years. But what really sets us apart in, in natural skin care is that we are a solution-based skin care. And what I mean by that is that we, you will not see, at least not in the near future, um, a cleanser, a toner, a moisturizer for every single, you know, skin type under the sun. We don't go in that direction. Now, you will see a toner and a cleanser here and there when it makes sense for that category, but we don't look to design regimens for skin types. Instead, we look for solutions, categories of concern. What are people looking for in the immediate, you know, with an immediate goal of, of changing their skin? The second thing that sets us apart is a concept of layering. And I have a, uh, a layering um, handout that I'm just going to show you vis-a-vis -vis the computer right now, but it would be available on our website, not on our website, um, on our Dropbox uh, for you to order if you want, because I think it's, it's a piece of information that consumers need about how to layer products on their skin. Um, so it's a very easy to follow um, 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 handout. Um, and then we also have decades-long experience of launching new products. So we are a very trusted name and brand out there. We have a huge loyalty following amongst our, our consumer base. Okay, and we do categorize um, um, our products into eight different kinds of collections. And today we're going to take a look at all of these and all the products in, in each of these collections. But going forward, we'll always have a webinar based on one or two of these collections. Um, and just so you know, they usually are the webinars are usually tied into uh, a certain promotion that's going on online for our brand as well. So a quick review, what I call Skin 101. Um, skin is the largest organ of the body. Its major function is basically three things: to protect the body from environmental assault like sun and pollution, prevent excess water loss from the body, and also just to protect the body from infection. Um, it has a huge job, and it's constantly renewing itself. 
Every 28 days, skin cells are turning over to renew the top layers of the skin as they dry up and, and uh, swap off. Now, there's two types of aging. One is premature aging. The other is chronological aging. Chronological aging is aging that <coughs> that is predetermined by your DNA. Um, you, so when your skin starts to degrade is um, somewhat, um, it is determined by chronological aging, but it's also determined by what we call premature aging. Premature aging is aging that's caused by the environment, sun, pollution, extreme climates, stresses a big ager of the skin, as are our poor lifestyle habits, like not eating well, too much sugar, smoking, excess alcohol, all that kind of aging assaults the skin. And it, it, the skin, in, in reaction to that assault, produces a free radical, which then damages that DNA in your cells. So as that support system breaks down, uh, the first big skin cells to go or are to become dysfunctional, if you will, are co collagen, elastin, um, and skin renewal in general starts to slow down. It just, the skin doesn't function like it should in order to protect your body. Uh, that manifests itself in some common skin care concerns, like hydration, rough spots, fine lines, uh, lack of firmness in the skin, a sagging, wrinkles, and uh, <coughs> excuse me, the, skin, the sun in particular contributes to uneven skin tone, dullness, and brown spots. So, no surprise here that the first and largest collection that we're going to talk about is the anti-aging collection. Um, again, this target consumer can be somebody uh, from anywhere from uh, in their early 20s who were starting just to notice the first parts of their chronological aging to somebody in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and beyond. It's anybody who is noticing sun damage, discoloration, the beginning of fine lines, or lack of firmness. Um, this first grouping of products, these five products, all use the same ingredient, which is uh, glycolic acid. Glycolic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid that helps to speed up the turnover of the skin cells that are, are damaged and ready to go. So the result is basically a brighter, smoother skin. So you have it right, uh, some glycolic acid in a facial cleanser. It's a creamy cleanser. It's terrific for aging or sun damaged skin. And it not only cleanses the skin, but provides a mild exfoliation while it cleanses. Then we have a follow up product would be the glycolic acid facial toner. That just provides that little extra cleansing, but more importantly, a pH balance. pH balance skin is. Um, helps your skin to better receive any other ingredients or products put on it afterwards. Um, and it, it does not dry out the skin at all. It, in fact, it's enriched with soothing emollients. You would follow up then with one or two of the next creams. There's a 5% glycolic acid cream and a 10% acid glycolic cream. These are a direct result of our esthetician background. Glycolic acid used in these percentages really does a great job of providing mild exfoliation, but helping it, the result is smoother, softer looking skin and a brighter looking skin. Now the caveat here would be make sure that you or consumers use 5% first. If they've never used anything that is as a strong as an alpha hydroxy acid, and glycolic acid, again, as I just said, is an AHA, and it is a very effective one because it's a smaller molecule and it tends to penetrate easily and well into the skin. And at 5%, a consumer or yourself, you will feel a little bit of a tingling on your skin as that um, exfoliation goes to work in the skin. So we strongly recommend that somebody first start with the 5% before advancing to the 10%. Um, 10% is excellent for aging, really sun-damaged skin or blemished skin. It's a higher potency, so the exfoliation is going to be faster, and the results will be faster, too, for retexturizing. But this is one of those things that more is not better. Let your skin get used to this high-potency kind of ingredient first with the 5% before um, <clears throat> advancing to the 10%, so one, you know, one, one um, jar of the 5% before advancing to the 10. And we also recommend that using it at night first 
uh, before advancing to day and night, which you can definitely do. Now, um, the next product, the glycolic acid oily skin light day cream, is perfect for somebody who is trying to fight an oily, blemished skin. That glycolic acid is just going to provide just the right amount of exfoliation in the pores in a moisturizer to help the skin be clearer and brighter and hopefully less uh, blemished as well. But it's a very lightweight formula, so an oilier skin will feel comfortable using it. And because it's mixed with botanical oils, you'll also avoid dehydration um, and that, that um, sort of uh, dried out feeling on the skin. Um, you'll see going forward that each of the collections, I put a key ingredient box. So as you look at this, you, you can better understand some of the ingredients that we're using that, that really define this collection of products. So we've already, oops, sorry about that. We've already talked about um, glycolic acid being a major um, ingredient for this collection. But now I'd like to move on to some of the other ingredients that are really strong in this collection, which are peptides and collagen. Mazolabulofold multi-peptide complex is uh, is one of our best sellers. It is an excellent product for fighting uh, real um, aging skin. You know, there's no way around it. It's a multi-peptide. It helps deep facial lines, including those around the size of the nose down to the corners of the mouth, which, is, which are known as the nasolabular folds. Um, but it uses peptides. And I would draw your attention to this box. There are three trademarked, clinically tested peptides in this product that do all the hard work here. One is matrixyl, which stimulates collagen production. Again, collagen tends to slow down as you get older, or it's the, one of the first uh, skin, major skin cells that becomes damaged uh, through sun um, exposure. Um, so having something like matrixyl there actually stimulates the collagen production allowing your skin to look its best, firmer and stronger. Then you have Progeline, which helps it again improve the collagen synthesis and firm and tighten the appearance of the skin. So when you first put it on, between the Progeline and then the next peptide, Senac, they both help to reduce the appearance of immediately of the fine lines and wrinkles on your skin. Um, if you, Many, many uh, brands use these peptides in, let's say, um, in brands in Sephora, and you would spend double, uh, absolutely double the amount to get the same results that we're giving the customers in our multi-peptide complex cream. It is a wonderful, very effective um, moisturizer and can be used day or night. Um, collagen revitalizing cream, as we all know, in the, in the supplements category, uh, um, ingesting collagen is, has been uh, the craze for the last year or more. So now ingesting as well as putting collagen on topically helps to smooth the appearance of wrinkles. We feature special marine and botanical extracts along with coconut and other rich oils to help the, 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 that um, collagen absorb into the skin so the skin feels and looks more useful. Um, another cream that takes its influence from um, Inside Outside Beauty is the nourishing cream omega-3 and 6 essential fatty acids cream. This is a unique complex of 10 rich oils um, that are, I'm sorry, oils that are rich in omega-3 and omega-6. So your skin looks uh, more radiant and supple. All at great prices, by the way. Um, and then the next product is the Apple, the Swiss Apple Stem Serum that has been with us. It's one of our top sellers. This is a terrific creamy serum that helps uh, Retexturize the skin uh, by the, through the use of Swiss apple stem cells. Uh, they stimulate dormant, dormant stem cells and bring to life <coughs> um, like life or energy to the current skin, uh, skin scales. I find when I use it, my my skin just sort of um, has has a, a brighter look to it, um, a healthier look, I guess is what it is, because I'm getting the recharging of my epidermal, my top layer cells. Um, and then that then um, if I use that first as a serum and then put my, my um, moisturizer on top of it, it's helping everything just um, absorb more effectively. And 
The last cream in this selection, this collection is the Antioxidant Skin Smoothing Advanced Day Cream. This is just chock filled with some of the antioxidants we see over here, whether it's uh, black and green tea, alpha lipoic acid, um, and combined with the natural oils that just help your skin do its best to prevent um, antioxidant or, or free radical damage in your skin, which is the major cause of aging. So we've covered it soup to nuts in, in this category in terms of giving consumers more collagen, more antioxidants, more peptides um, to stimulate their skin and keep it looking its best. Some of our newer um, serums and uh, cream moisturizer in this collection are the Anti-Aging Trio. This is the first one, uh, the Peptide Facial Skin Prep with Hyaluronic Acid. This is a very lightweight gel serum that uses um, hyaluronic acid and another peptide, argyroline, to that has a similar reaction to Botox. And what it does is it relaxes the muscles on the, you know, the top of the skin, so it gives a diminished look to the fine lines and wrinkles. But ultimately what it's doing with the hyaluronic acid, in combination with the Hawaiian seaweed extract mineral complex, is stimulating and energizing your skin. Um, I just absolutely love using these trace minerals on top of the skin. They're, they're um, very nourishing to the skin. And it, again, a serum will help every other thing you put on top, any other moisturizer that you put on top of your skin absorb better. And in addition, we're using more peptides that are, as you see there, uh, the explanation of what are peptides, they're naturally occurring amino acids. They're the building blocks of protein. So you never want to be in short supply of a peptide. And we just are giving you more topical ones that work in conjunction with moisturizing and binding ingredients like a hyaluronic acid to stimulate cell growth and repair. Also in the anti-aging collection is the Advanced Peptide Plus. We could not pack more into this cream. I use this every single day. This is, um, it, it, it pumps out in this really easy, to use in measured amount um, that I would put right on top of my uh, skin prep um, serum. And this helps to reduce fine lines, repair and prevent damage, and you, your skin, again, looks immediately tightened because we have a whole host of proven effective ingredients that have been in the industry a long time. And again, we've just packed it all into one stellar cream here. We have 10% of the arguerine. That's 10% of the peptide is used. So that's what you get that immediate diminished look of fine lines and wrinkles. Then the alpha lipoic acid goes to work to help protect the skin. It's a super powerful antioxidant that helps also helps to reduce inflammation. DMAE, which helps to tighten skin and smooth fine lines, and it enhances the effect of vitamin C and vitamin E or alpha lipoic acid. And we also have some vitamin E ester in this to help improve the elasticity and brighten any hyperpigmentation. So th this is, I can't say enough about uh, this product. And dual source vitamin C serum. We are one of the few um, in many of the stores that have uh, 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 not only one source of vitamin C in a serum, but two sources of vitamin C in a serum that helps repair environmental skin damage. Uh, they work together, the, the, both forms of vitamin C work together to promote collagen synthesis and they help reduce age um, and dark spots. And, oh, excuse me, um, it's, I have a, a study cited on this particular slide from truthandaging.com where studies suggest that vitamin C serums might correct age-associated structural changes in the skin like photo damage from the sun that has accumulated over the years. Um, so with regular use of applying vitamin C, um, you help boost the collagen and slow the degradation and help to maintain um, younger looking skin. This has been proven clinically. So we've given you our customer two sources of this, of this particular um, of vitamin C. I'm just going to um, escape out of this theater form of the slideshow just for a minute because I want to show you all the new a new uh, flyer that's available to hand out in stores or to just order as a consumer. Um, it's something that I did um, through my training at the store level that people don't realize that you can use more than one serum or, in fact, even what a serum does. 
So this first box explains that, a, that serums are usually formulated with higher concentrates of an active ingredient and substances that are sometimes clinically proven to really affect changes in the skin. So a consumer can choose a serum by what best addresses their specific skincare needs and concerns. So that could be hyaluronic acid if they want moisture, antioxidants if they're trying to help prevent free, um, you know, environmental damage, DMAE for firming and toning, and then peptides for anti-aging benefits, as we just learned in that antioxidant in the anti-aging collection. Um, how a, a serum should be used, massage two to three drops over the entire face, followed by another serum or a moisturizer. And if you want to use two serums, the easiest way to do it is day or night, or layering using the lightest or the thinnest serum first, letting that dry down, then putting another serum on top. That's a little bit more of a sophisticated approach to skincare, but it can absolutely be done. And I would hate somebody to have to make a choice between two serums. Geez, I would really love my antioxidants and a peptide. Well, go for it. Go for both. And this is how you can incorporate both into your skincare regimen. And, in fact, we give very clear directions on which serums to use based on what you're trying to achieve. So we have discoloration and dark spots. We have maintaining and protecting the skin, firming, and then the last category is dry, sensitive, dehydrated skin with the products that would address those particular current concerns and then the, the ordering layer for layering. So I would encourage you all to go to the Dropbox and get a supply of those to help uh, pass out in stores and help consumers understand how how to use our serums, because we have a bunch of them. Okay, next collection is brightening uh, collection. Targeted consumer for this is anybody who's noticing discoloration, uneven skin tone, or dullness. We start here with a cleanser, uh, featuring a host of brightening ingredients, natural brightening ingredients like mulberry, lime, kojic acid, and licorice ac um, extract that all help in the cleansing process to brighten the skin. Um, under eye Dark Circle Serum. This is a, a hidden gem in our collection. This is a really well-formulated uh, product because of the blend of peptides um, that help to soothe the under, um, the under eye area and improve the overall appearance of tired eyes. Um, it helps to improve puffiness, bagginess, and um, the darkness under the eyes. And it will continue to encourage the under eye improvement with continued use based on a couple of ingredients that I'm just going to switch to the next page and show you. Um, these two. Um, Haloxyl and Chrysine. These are two ingredients that actually eliminate um, dark pigments that are responsible for the under eye circles. Under eye circles are actually caused by um, excess. <coughs> well, let me let me step back. When when your eyes become irritated, whether through staring at a computer screen, sunshine, you know, lack of lack of sleep, you know, a whole host of things that can happen, you know, that your eyes just get so tired and 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 um, sensitive, is your body as a reaction will send blood and water to that area. Now, once the irritation has abated, sometimes we're left with puffiness or the dark circles are still there from that, all that excess blood that was sent there to try to soothe the eye. So those two ingredients in particular help to sort of mop up that excess blood that seeped out of the small capillaries around your eye area that left you with those dark circles. So with continued use, it, you will find that your your under eyes are less dark because this 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 under eye dark circle serum is working constantly to mop up that excess blood and move it away and out of that area um, so you have brighter looking eyes. Um, it's really it's a, a great great product. Uh, and so is this one, the dark spot brightening serum. This helps to brighten specific areas of the skin whether it's melasma or old um, sun damage, um, something from acne. Sometimes, um, again, when the, when the body is 
uh, when the skin is experiencing a really, um, you know, troubled time with acne, some skin, some skins are left with dark areas that surround the, the, the former pimple. Um, and again, that's just blood being sent to the area to help heal it. But it leaves us with dark circles, right? So, um, or dark spots on our skin. Something like the dark spot brightening serum will help improve that area with kojic acid, alpha albutin, and bearberry. They all are target um, that discoloration and help, and they can be used alone or with the day and night creams that also share some of those ingredients to speed up the process. Um, brown spot night gel uses glycolic acid, again, the alpha hydroxy acid to, to speed up the cell renewal and hydroquinone to help brighten skin discoloration. But we have buffered that, those really strong ingredients with Alentron and aloe vera to help improve the skin texture and, and, um, it's all in a, white, a lightweight formula, which is really nice for oilier skins who do not like uh, heavy cream on their skin. Two night creams that we have that, that uh, go to work on brown spots is the Brown Spot Brightening Night Cream. It helps reduce the appearance of discoloration with hydroquinone. Hydroquinone is an all-over brightening product. Um, and with consistent use, each evening on your face, your hands, your body, you will see a discoloration diminishment in about four weeks or sooner. Um, and then we also have the Bright Spot Night Cream with Kojic Acid. That helps to diminish uh, dark spots and discoloration. Kojic acid also brightens an, uh, an area. Um, but kojic acid, let's look here on the next slide, is sourced from several different types of either uh, fungi or uh, also rice, um, actually, too, fermented rice. And it's used in a lot of skin creams to just prevent the formation of uh, particular amino acid that contributes to melanin production. So it works internally to help your skin brighten. Um, and alpha arbutin, I also mentioned, is one of the, uh, the, uh, the ingredients that helps go to work on brightening the skin. That's derived from bearberry, pear, or blueberry. It's uh, the, the active ingredient that helps to uh, uneven skin tone. Okay. Uh, the defense collection uh, consists currently of two products. Uh, our SPF 25 Sun Protection Moisturizer will now be available in a tube, making it much easier to throw in a bag to go to the beach, the lake, uh, you know, skiing, just carry around with you. Um, it is still the same formula, sheer, quick-absorbing, greaseless SPF 25. Um, but it will be now, it'll, you'll eventually see it coming onto the, to the, um, to the shelf in a tube. No change in uh, UPC or, um, or SKU or anything like that. It's just a different a different um, container. And our top seller, the vitamin E oil E6. Um, this, we, it's hard to keep this little guy in stock. It is just beloved out there. It, yes, it's a lip balm with vitamin E and Alentron and a natural de swax base. Um, it's so soothing and moisturizing. Um, I keep one on my desk, in my car, you know, my bedside. I have this everywhere because I just find it such a, it's such a relief to, to not only lips, but also um, if you have a dry spot, let's say at the corner of your eye or right between, between your eyes sometimes, uh, right at the uh, top of your nose, it's, it gets a little um, dry spot someplace there or at your cuticles. You can use this anywhere that you just need a little bit more moisturizing um, uh, um, for, and protection. Okay, firming collection. Um, no surprise there that the target consumer is somebody who is concerned about sagging skin, a lack of firmness, tone, and lines and wrinkles. So we have some um, ingredients in here. Again, going back to our esthetician heritage that, that are so target firm and, and toning in the skin. So starting with elastin collagen skin toner alcohol-free, it's great for the face and neck, it stimulates and refreshes, and it um, has uh, vitamin A and vitamin E, so protective um, antioxidants. Vitamin e, uh, DMAE concentrate as a serum. This has high levels of DMAE, uh, 5%, um, versus the competition that has way less than that. This is excellent to help um, really firm and tighten the skin. 
followed by a moisturizer. And one of our top sellers is the alpha lipoic acid vitamin C ester DMAE cream. Um, combining all those ingredients that specifically target elasticity and firmness. And we also put in, just for extra measure, some peptides, palmitoic pep tripeptide 5 and CoQ10, a very strong antioxidant. That, at, at that price, it is a, an astoundingly good moisturizer for the skin. Um, firming eye serum um, helps reduce the fine lines and wrinkles of DMAE and alpha lipoic acid. Again, a, another dose of those two great ingredients right centered on the eye area is great, but we've also combined it with a little bit of brightening ingredients like um, mulberry and lime in addition to the alpha lipoic acid and vitamin C ester. DMA, oh, sorry, elastin and DMAE night cream. This would be used at night for firming when your body's at rest, but can be alternated every two weeks with a collagen night cream. Again, something that's, re when your body's replenishing itself, it's good to use um, um, products like that that are replenishing your skin's um, supply of elastin and collagen. And then we have the elastin and collagen body firming lotion, also a great all-over body lotion um, filled with um, soluble collagen that helps just your all-over body, um, you know, wherever your skin is, maybe slackened. And here is our ingredient box, again, listing with um, specific um, uh, um, ingredients that are in the products. Hydrating collection. For dehydrated, uh, dry patches, fine lines, overall dryness. You start with a cleansing gel and cleansing milk, so somebody can have a choice between the type of moisture that they, um, you know, more, um, texture that they want in their cleansing process for helping their skin. The gel is actually ideal for sensitive skin or maybe somebody who struggles with oily and dryness at the same time. Cleansing milk would be uh, great for somebody who's a little bit maybe more mature skin or definitely a drier skin because they're going to love that cushiony, um, milky uh, feeling of this cleanser. Uh, followed by the Soothing Skin Tonic, um, just a mildly stimulating, helps to el eliminate any product residue, um, and again, helps to maintain the skin's proper um, uh, pH balance. Some of our top sellers are in this category, including the Hyaluronic Acid Serum and the High Potency Collagen Serum. These two are big sellers for us and have been for decades. Hyaluronic Acid Serum penetrates, helps bind moisture to the skin, helps to the, the skin to retain and rebuild its moisture levels. Uh, fine lines, rough patches are soothed um, and helps all other creams and serums absorb. You can follow up um, with the collagen serum at night, perhaps, with this uh, underneath your moisturizers in this category. Um, this helps to, again, increase moisture, reduce the fine lines, and a smooth skin. Um, uh, collagen night cream increases the skin's ability to hold moisture, nourishes, heals the skin, and skin appears firmer and, and moisture and more supple. Uh, but the, the real star of this category is the Ultra Moisturizing Cream Hydratant. This is terrific for really dry, rough, irritated skin. It is a blend of nourishing oils, hyaluronic acid, uh, candelilia wax that inhibits moisture loss. So not as only nourishing your skin with a lot of moisture, it's helping to prevent the escape of that moisture as well. You can use this wherever you have um, dry, rough spots on your skin. Uh, intercell day and night creams, hyaluronic acid day cream, provides hyaluronic acid in, in a cream form um, to help the skin. This is a great, maybe uh, as we move into uh, colder, drier months, to switch over to this cream for some people who are prone to dryness, as well as the uh, intercell hyaluronic acid night gel. Um, increases the moisture in, in drier climates or time of year. And the ultra-rich, ultra-light daytime moisturizer with vitamin C, I use this when I travel just because my skin tends to get more dehydrated in planes and in hotel rooms or trade shows. So this is a very uh, silky, emollient-rich moisturizer that, that absorbs very, very quickly. Um, so though it goes on in a rich way, I don't feel it's tacky or anything on my skin. It just absorbs quickly. 
um, and uses a lot of biological plant extracts for stimulation as well as vegetable oil to benefit the skin. Next category is restoring collection. Um, this is basically for someone who wants immediate improvement to their skin because they they just need to replenish after daily, you know, too much pollution, sun damage, just various toxins are going on and they need a, um, a special mask or exfoliant. So the light skin peel mild exfoliant, again, has been with us for many, many years. This gently removes the dead skin cells so other uh, Skin treatment products can penetrate more deeply. It provides a nice, gentle exfoliation and improves the, um, the complexion, making it look more vibrant and healthy. Um, if someone is prone to blemishes or excess oil, problem skin mask is their answer uh, to that problem. It, it clears blemishes and helps with excess oil without drying the skin, and it can also help fight harmful bacteria that is the cause of the uh, blemishing and draws out the impurities. Two other masks are the cooling and calming hydrating mask, beneficial clays, seaweed, emollients. It, it, it's actually very it's cooling on the skin, and it just <clears throat> helps to moisturize skin after it's been through um, a dehydrating phase, like I was saying, with traveling or just, you know, you're just exhausted. Your skin just looks, just, it needs a pick-me-up. Um, this is a great mask for that, as is gently exfoliating uh, fruit enzyme mask. I often alternate with these masks because the enzyme mask, using pumpkin, pineapple, and papaya enzymes, offers just a really great gentle exfoliation without any physical exfoliation. It's just done through the enzymes. And it helps to draw out impurities, and it just gives plus away the the dead, the dead skin cells and just restores the complexion um, immediately. You just your skin looks so much better after using that product. Revitalizing collection. Okay, on this page we have four different eye creams, <laughs> so I'm going to help you understand how they are different from each other. So, the eye complex firming cream is just that. This particular product firms and smooths the appearance of the entire eye area. It helps with under eye bags and shadows and puffiness. It helps to reduce the appearance of crow's feet and fine lines, but really it's about with a continued use, it's about firming the eye area. The eye the concentrate works on puffiness. That's that excess water that is sent to the area when your eye is irritated. And it does that with herbal extracts. Yes, it fights dryness and underlying lines, too, with collagen elastin, but generally this is for somebody who says, I cannot stand my puffy eye. Throat and eye cream is just that. It helps the throat and eye area that tend to be very, very delicate skin. They tend to, uh, That skin tends to um, uh, create fine lines. You get lines and wrinkles there more quickly because of the thinness of the skin. So this, in, this product, Hurt and Eye Cream, infuses those areas with rich oils and plant extracts. So if somebody wants something specific to their throat, and yes, they can use it on their eye, this, this is their product. And the Biopeptide Bioflavonoid Complex Optima Eyes Eye Cream is distinguished by the fact that it is super lightweight and easy to apply. So it's somebody that maybe is using an eye cream for the first time and wants something that's really lightweight that's going to do every, improve the general appearance of their eye. They're not yet to that, oh, I need firmness or I need puffiness or I need dark circle help. I just need a general eye cream that's going to do all that and keep me going for a while. So that's generally how I see each of those various products, and it just would take a little questioning to find out which which of those concerns um, it, um, is she trying to address the most? And this, this collection of ingredients you'll see by product really will help uh, identify that even further. So if the eye complex firming cream is about firming, we have a, that herbal compound in there that is all about firming and strengthening the eye area in addition to the um, almond and wheat germ oils that are um, help to retain the moisture in that area. I believe all those help to diminish and replenish the skin and with antioxidants, and then the throat and eye cream. Again, all this page points to really is how many of the ingredients that we're using are just beautiful, natural plant extracts um, that go to work on that eye area. 
specialty collection, our last collection, is filled with products that help uh, specific skin care needs for a specific skin care issue. So we have two wonderful facial sprays, Rose Water, another top seller. This is just a wonderful refresher stimulator of the skin. Um, you can keep this, especially in the summer months, keep it in the refrigerator and just spritz yourself whenever you, your skin needs a pick-me-up. Um, it's a fine mist. I recommend spraying it away from your skin. Just spray it right in front of you and walk through the mist as opposed to trying to spray it on your face. I just think that's an easier way to manage the mist and the spray so you don't um, overshoot yourself there and get too wet. Um, <clears throat> Rose Hibiscus Hydrating Facial uh, Spray is, does, is, does offer hydration. So we have the chemical oils in there. So this is great if you're just really experiencing dehydration in the middle of the day and you want to immediately infuse your skin with some, um, with some moisture. Um, you can use it as to tone the skin, set your makeup, hydrate, moisturize, and it's also good for your hair and body too. Makeup primer um, is a really great seller, at least in my experience, among the, the younger set of our, uh, of our consumer um, because it's used to set makeup. It fills in all the little tiny cracks and crevices and pores and helps to control excess oil. You need two to three drops, put it all over your skin after you do your skincare and before you do your makeup. So when you put your makeup on top, top of the makeup primer, it helps your foundation, your eyeshadow, your powder all stay throughout the day, always looking fresh. And we just put in a little CoQ10 in there too for antioxidant protection. But this is a, this is a big seller. Uh, vitamin K cream. Improves the appearance of bruised skin. We use a diverse uh, set of fruit extracts um, that improve overall complexion of the skin. Uh, you'll find this in the specialty cream area. Um, and just know that we've improved the formula. We've actually added more vitamin K. So the whole cream might be a little, have a little bit more of a yellow tint than it did in the past when you've used it before. And then we have our hypoallergenic mascara in the specialty category. Um, this is a lash building, not no smudge, no flake, no clump mascara available. Oops, I have black and brown. It is now only available in black. Um, and we use pathanol to moisturize and condition the lashes too. Um, and the newest entry into our specialty category is a group of five products that all use charcoal. It's our, a complete set of charcoal products. And Let's just dive in here. Um, first to find out what is activated charcoal. Activated charcoal is basically um, sourced from either bamboo or coconut shells, and it starts with a process of heating those two materials to create a char. And then the char is activated, quote unquote, by uh, going into a furnace at super high temperatures without any oxygen at all, and this makes the, those charred particles very, very porous. So it, you get almost like a powder after activating the charcoal that is non-toxic, safe, and totally odorless. So we use bamboo and coconut um, in, our, in our products. And interestingly enough, as I've been explaining it when I go around to stores training, as, you know, some products are used um, and they'll say, oh, this is like a sponge, a tiny sponge that just works into your skin and absorbs all the toxins in your skin. Well, actually, bamboo and charcoal, bamboo charcoal and coconut charcoal actually work more like a magnet. It's a process known as adsorption. So during adsorption, it's all those toxins and small particles on your skin actually bind to the charcoal as opposed to being absorbed by it. So and it, it can attract up to 100 times its own weight. So it's a really effective ingredient in deep cleansing masks and cleansers to unclog pores and eliminate breakouts. And coconut charcoal works similarly, but it's known to have a few more bacterial, um, antibacterial properties and draws out excess oil. So um, it's just a difference in how it works in the skin. 
but it, again, I, it really seems to resonate when I train it in stories that people, when I tell people it works like a magnet just to, uh, to just sweep away all the toxins in your skin and just have them attract to that and then you wash it off. So the first product is we're going to talk about is a pore minimizing mask. This deeply cleans and gently exfoliates your skin and it's so gentle, this can be used daily um, because not only does it use charcoal, but if you see here, what really sets it apart is it also uses uh, a list of different organic oils like sunflower, coconut, jojoba, barrage, and so on and so forth to leave the skin feeling really smooth and hydrated, not tight, you know, tight and dry um, after using this. And it also um, is combined with a lot of natural plant extracts like arnica and lavender and calendula, all these really soothing and calming ingredients. This is just a beautiful mask. Again, it can be used any day by anybody uh, for deep cleansing and exfoliation. The bamboo charcoal cleansing gel um, can be, you know, is a, is a, a, a facial gel that deep cleanses, and while it's minimizing the pores, it's sulfate-free, so it doesn't really, um, you know, suds up, which is a good thing, um, and, but it does contain all those uh, natural extracts and botanicals, making it super safe for the skin as well, as it's doing a, deep, a job of deep cleansing. And I always like to point out this interesting fact that right now it won't be apparent but once it gets cold out, and let's say you travel, you throw this in your, your, you know, your gym bag or your, you know, your luggage to go travel to the East Coast in the winter, this might come out of your luggage looking a little gray. And that's the natural ingredients reaction to going below 72 degrees. It actually changes color just a little bit, but it does not change the efficacy of the product at all. So I always like to just throw that out there so people aren't alarmed. Like, what happened to my black cleansing gel? And it's now gray. Just give it an hour or so, let it warm up, and it'll go back to being black. Um, coconut charcoal and white lava body wash. This is great to keep in your shower. Uh, deep cleanses and exfoliates your entire body. It helps to reduce skin impurities um, as it removes toxins and your body is rejuvenated. Um, this uses the white lava rock um, to exfoliate. So you'll feel a very mild exfoliation, but it's not done with little beads, which can be harmful to the environment. It's actually done with white lava rock. It's a very island feeling after washing. Um, coconut charcoal moisturizing day cream. This combines the coconut charcoal with naturally healing ingredients like um, tea tree. Um, you can smell that as soon as you start putting it on. Uh, firming and toning with DMAE. And then you have some great antioxidants and soothing ingredients like green tea, hyaluronic acid, aloe, leaf extract, and chamomile. All to soothe this skin. It's very gentle, lightweight cream. And night cream moisturizer has activated charcoal, which is time released. You can see teeny little beads right here of the charcoal that upon application and further um, rubbing into the skin, these will break down as they and um, release their, um, their detoxification sort of properties while the body's at rest. So it soothes um, the skin with moisture and charcoal. And I think that, that is it. So I, this last slide is a collection of, uh, is a, a, like uh, a grid of all of our collections uh, showing what some of the basic problems that, that consumers will have, whether it's fine lines, uneven skin tone, dark circles, so on and so forth, um, and what we would recommend as some of the solutions. So yes, you can stay within one collection, but I've also tried to um, illuminate how other collections can be incorporated into that particular problem or solution. So even if somebody is most concerned about fine lines and wrinkles, yes, they should look at the products in the firming collection, but they should also look at some of the anti-aging trios. Remember the, the skin uh, facial prep with the trace minerals or a hyaluronic acid uh, serum can be incorporated as well. So I, I think this will help people navigate our collections. And uh, certainly after a training like today where we're talking about all of them, I hope this just sort of gives you an endpoint that you can identify, uh, oh, okay, this just sort of sums it up in a, in a nice, clear way for all of you. Um, and at this point, I will 
um, unmute you, and if anybody um, has any questions, you can just ask away. And if you don't, um, that's fine too. You know where all of you guys know where to reach me. So, um, any questions? Nancy, hi, this is Jessica. Yeah, hi. Um, hey, are you able to send this PowerPoint presentation to us so we could have it in our files? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I thought you guys may have already had it by going to our website, um, our shared files, but that's okay. I'm, I'm happy to send it to you guys. Yeah. You know what? I may. I just wasn't sure if there was anything updated in here. Um, you know, no, no, you're right. This has been updated. This one is definitely updated from the, probably the last one that you have. So, yeah, I will. Um, it, it is available, but I will try to send it. As long as the file's not too big, I will try to minimize it and send it that way. And if I have trouble, I'll just alert you and let you know to just download it from our, from our website. Okay, perfect. Thank you. It was very thorough. I appreciate it. Good. Great, great. Hope it helps. And um, if nobody has any other questions, I will say thank you, as always, for your support in stores. And just reach out if you have any questions. Thanks, Nancy. Okay, thanks, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye. What was Jessica's question?